Though Barista Olumi Deo Sagbo were part of the Labour Party, is qualified, capable, and able to become the next governor of Edo State. But I think he is not campaigning this election to win it. It's looking like he's playing a spoiler's game. And if care is not taken, with his campaign strategy, we may just be slipping into the hands of the APC uh, in the, as the next government in Edo State. And I have a few reasons why I have summed it up. To this point and i want you to follow me on this journey again it's um, necessary that i say here at this point that i'm not doing this um, to attack anybody um, i'm also not doing this to cloud chase it would have not been necessary if not that a few persons have genuinely reached out to me and it's okay that i i, I share these concerns out with people who believe in me not everybody would do but a few that do so that we are on the same page right this is not about money and it's not about uh, any form of personal interest. It's the fact that we must do the right thing at this particular time. First, let's take it through. Um, I'm one of the few persons that decided to join the Labour Party after the presidential election and, uh, elections. And then I thought it was nice to join the political party for the first time in my life. I begin to join the, um, the political participation, so to speak. But when I got to the Labour Party, um, through one of the aspirants that wanted to be governor at the time, I discovered that the Labour Party may be as bad as some of the established parties because the conversation was more about money and a few other things that because of time i would not want to get into that maybe with time we'll be able to deal on that at another time when limited battle came came on the scene i told a few friends that i liked him and then a few of my friends who are also doing what i do said they didn't like the fact that he didn't campaign for peter b and because of that they were not um in tune with him but i spoke highly of him and i said no it brings a, a, a blend of fresh air and it seems to be that he may just uh, be the next governor but as the campaign continued to um, happen i noticed that there was a seemingly concentration on some parts of the state as against other parts and as someone who has said publicly and privately that one of my biggest pain is seeing an apc government um, take over at those states Right? I, I understand that politics in Nigeria is dirty and a lot of things are so wrong. But I've seen that the APC kind of politics is wicked, is devilish, is evil, is barbaric. And then, to, for lack of better words, it's not something that I want to for any reason see happen in my state. So, no to the APC for any reason. No to the APC. I've even jokingly said that if Peter B, my dearly beloved uh, um, a political icon decides to wear the apc flag tomorrow i'll campaign against him that's how much i don't like the party right so it's, it's, it's be very clear so again i began to look does olumide Bata stand the chance to become a governor yes is he campaigning to become a governor and that i could not answer it looked like there was a sinister attempt to be a spoiling tool rather than becoming an a governorship material and then if I don't want the APC, I should be careful, I should watch out. And then the icing to this whole cake happened when I was contacted by some persons. Um, of course, friends, friends who thought they could, they could have me because, again, I've got a few videos online where I have uh, not agreed with the executive governor of the state, the incumbent governor of the state, on a few of his policies and programs. So that was fair enough to see that I don't like the governor and I will campaign for another candidate. And so they contacted me and said, maybe I want to join their team and then i said no even with the the biggest of our mind i can't campaign for the apc and i'm sorry I, I have to say that every time i've said that every time i don't like the party i can't campaign for the apc this person dropped the call called back to say so am i going to campaign for the labor why am i not campaigning for the labor party the labor party is also good it's obviously there is a problem as should not take over what he has done mentioned a few things and all that we had back and forth conversation i think i put that online before to say let's not begin to discuss the governance there and all that i have this i have disapproval of a few things but to say obviously if failed as a governor you may just be joking right or maybe because you are a politician you just want to air that and then in, it, he ended up encouraging me to campaign for Labour Party. And that was interesting to me. It was the first time I'm seeing that a, politi a politician is advising me of who else I should campaign for if I'm not campaigning for his party. And that was the reason why I began to do the soul searching and fact finding uh, uh, personal um, study. And I later discovered that, see, there are some very innocent uh, people who are in the Labour Party, who are in the obedient movement, that want the end of PDP and APC. There are some very genuine concern for the end of the PDP and APC bromance in managing our resources, I know. But I can tell you, 
it is either this is deliberate or unconscious. There is a sinister attempt to use the Labour Party to usurp the voice of the people in a way that it will spoil. So, it's looking like there's an arrangement somewhere. This may be an only arrangement that is being done behind the scene or an empowerment being done somewhere to giving light to the Labour Party so that it further denigrates, divide the vote, reduce the volume, and then give a piece an opportunity to just get into office with just a sprinkle of a neck manipulation through beavers over voting like they did in Kogi. I just give them a chance. That worried me. I had I had said it everywhere that I'm going to be neutral in this election. First, because I don't think that the election would be fair and fair. And secondly, because I wanted to stay away completely for my own mental health sake after the presidential election. But upon checking this back and forth, I knew there was a I knew if we are not careful, we may just give the state bestow these evil barbaric people opportunity to get back to Dainiso Sadebe Avenue and become the leading political party in the state with all the plagues and all the 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 barbaric things these guys have done to us um, in the federal government we would not allow this to happen and then it became clear and um, the capital all of this became very obvious where some influencers and some voices that are against the government began to seemingly not look at what the APC is doing but they consider attacking the government and give you space to look at Ulumi that matter once again and with the fact that this man has almost, I may be wrong, almost looked at his campaign just in the Edo South, which seems to be the strength of the, um, the PDP as it were right now to win this election, and which of course has, has produced the highest number of votes for any political party to win this election. And with the fact that the APC owns um, Edo North, of course I'm not saying that they are, they are not smart people who know that the APC should not get to point in the Edo North. But if Olumida Bata is a spoiling tool and continue to, to do what he's doing to Edo South and divide the vote in Edo South, we may just be in for some APC Wahala. And guess what? A few persons have said in some ways that what Olumida Bata is doing is not different from what Peter B did. And I think I, I should disagree. For Mr. Peter B in the presidential election, I think as a person, as a person, as a, as a presidential candidate, he was one he would have been awarded as the most campaigned or the person with the biggest campaign campaign and uh, train as a person why or any other party would have won the biggest um, campaign um, train part as a party but as a person is is in road to to the north his conversations his interviews is and then i'm looking out it recently there were no again i do not mean to attack Ulumi that Bata. but I can look at this back and forth and I can tell you, let's not allow APC get into power because we think we want to vote Ulumi that Bata. Again, he's capable, he's qualified to be governor, but this is looking like a spoiling tool, a divisional tactic to ensuring that the PDP do not get the buff. So just like I said, it, it, take this from me, right? It's just a sprinkle of overvoting, manipulation by INEC, and uh, then in the, in the north of Edo State. And that would be all. Let us, again, those, the man, as when he would have deserved to be governor. Yes, I think. He see if he's rich. He's made it very clear. He's been vocal about his thoughts. For all of them, I think he's been, been the most vocal. He's, he's campaigned as a person. He's put out himself out. He's got, he's got huge, 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 uh, 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 potentials to becoming a governor and delivering um, us into um, another blend of administrative excellence. I would rather want to vote or support a man that has the powers, potentials, and wants to be governor than to vote a spoiler. Again, I may be wrong, but that's how it seems. Kulumida Bata may just be a spoiling tool that the APC is using uh, to divide um, and get into power, right? Somehow, I think there's an only um, alliance somewhere. And I just think so. I think there's an only alliance somewhere. And I'll see you with that. I'll see you with that.